I want to talk to you today about something called diastasis recti, or DR for short. I want to cover what it is, why it happens, and let you know how to figure out if you have one, and then talk a little bit about what you need to do to begin to fix it. So what is a DR? It is an unnatural distance between the two halves of your rectus abdominis muscles, and that's the muscle that runs in segments down the front of your body. And it's a thinning and widening of the connective tissue called the linea alba that runs between the two halves. So I've drawn a picture for you here. This is the side where there's no diastasis going on, and you see the two halves of your abdominal musculature. On a fitness magazine cover, you see these really defined segments called the six pack. And this white space between them is where the linea alba is. And it's where um, muscle, because there are no bones in your uh, front of your abdomen, the muscle can't connect to a bone through a tendon. So the tendon weaves together to form this sheath-like structure that can sort of act like a bone if it needs to. So on this side, there's um, just the linea alba, there's no abnormal separation going on. Now on the diastasis recti side, um, this linea alba has gotten wider and the two halves of the abdominal muscle are farther apart. Um, and it often happens around the belly button, but it can happen anywhere from the top up near your rib cage to the bottom down near your pelvis. So um, why does it happen? Um, both men and women can have a diastasis recti. This is not something that's limited to women. Now, if you are a woman who's had children, by 36 weeks of pregnancy, it's normal to have a DR. You simply have to have that separation to accommodate the growing fetus inside you. What, after you've given birth, if the two halves don't come back together, then you know that you've got a bigger issue going on in the body. And the reason why a DR happens is related to forces in the body. So the forces are what's moving your linea alba. So what parts of your body can cause the linea alba to change shape? Your rib cage, the position of it habitually and how you're moving it. Your pelvis, your habitual pelvic position and how you're moving it. Um, your abdominal musculature, both overtraining the abs can cause them to pull or simply underusing them can make them weak. Um, intra-abdominal pressure of a baby or intra-abdominal pressure of excessive fat. So it happens because these forces are present that are causing this unnatural separation. So how do you know if you have a diastasis recti? Come on down onto your back and let's take a look. So you're gonna hold your head with one hand, take a breath in and exhale and curl your head and shoulders up off the floor. Then take your hand and start up near your sternum at the bottom of your rib cage and just palpate down the midline of your body and see if you can feel the two halves of your rectus abdominis muscle. So we're looking both for the distance between the two halves, which is measured in finger widths. So you might have a one finger, two, three, four, five, six. The largest I've ever seen on someone was seven, but I think you can probably have greater than seven finger widths. So we're looking for how far apart they are and how deep, how thinned out is this linea alba. So you might be able to feel the two halves and maybe they're a finger width apart, but you can't really put your finger in there. Or you might be able to really sink your finger down in up to the first knuckle or second knuckle. Not sure if you could go all the way to your hand, but you might be able to. Um, and you may find that some parts of it are closed and some parts have that greater distance between them. So once you've palpated all the way down, you have a sense of whether you have a DR or not. So once you've done that, you can come back down. Now put your fingers where somewhere on your abdomen and then take a breath in, exhale, pick your head up again, and notice if the two halves come together. So that's another indication of function in this, in this part of the body. Are the two halves coming together or are they staying apart or perhaps moving farther apart? So that's a good way to test to see if you have a DR. 
So now that you've done the test and you know what's going on in your body, what are you gonna do if you discover that you have a DR? We wanna do work that's gonna to begin to shift the forces in your body. So we do that by looking at your alignment and working to make it better. We do that by addressing your breathing. As I mentioned before, if you have that really um, belly breath as a constant pattern or you're simply gripping in the abdominals and breathing high and shallow, we need to rebalance your breathing. And we wanna look at movements. We wanna to begin to give you movements that are gonna wake up the deep layer of your core and start getting the body talking to itself again. So now you know what a DR is, you know why it happens due to forces, and you know how to test to see if you've got it, and you know um, the things that we look at to begin to rectify it. So hit me up with questions and let me know what else you need to know.